Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty here on NCAA 10. We are in pretty good position here in our conference. I think that, you know, having the team that we have, we have one of the lowest rated teams in our conference here, but we are actually winning games, to be honest. We are one and two, though, sitting here at 500. Just to tell you how the conference tournament will go, every team makes it except one. So as long as we don't finish last, we will make the conference tournament. Now we are going against UC Riverside in this game and they have a couple of you guys, Jay Darvis, who is averaging 17 points, 11 points, 11 rebounds, I should say, per game. Jackson Schroeder is averaging 12.7. I mean, there are a bunch of guys that you guys have on this team as well. That's one thing I love about this series is that I get to play against you guys each week. Now, they also have a pretty good score in Maurice Jamison, so watch out for him. He is their two guard. As let's get into the action here in our fourth conference game. Here's a shot put up by Darvis, it looks like, and that one is off. Or maybe that was Chris Underwood, the freshman. So now on offense, here we are for our first possession here. Storm passing around to the mid-range, and that is Wendell Caesar for the first bucket of this game. Now here's Schroeder handling the ball, driving inside, and he will lay that one up for the first two for UC Riverside. As now we move into a couple minutes into the game, and there starts to be an issue here with missed shots. Here you see we're saving the ball after a missed shot. This time Takashi inside another missed shot inside. And now Wendell Caesar driving the ball to the lane. And another shot is off. Let's see if Storm can get us going. Passing out to Caesar. Open three. And maybe just had a hand in his face just a little bit. But more missed shots here in the first quarter. It seemed to be the trend. Is now we work it inside. Now Buster Howard into the game. Look at him right under the hoop. And he can't get that one to go. So now it's a 10 to two game and here is Riverside. A deep shot is missed and the rebound by Storm pushing it up to court. It looks like he has speed too and he kind of throws a floater at the hoop and it eventually goes in. We actually go on a seven minute drought there before finally getting a bucket. But now we're starting to get hot. Here is Joyner in the corner. He hits the corner three, bringing it to 12 to seven. Missed shot by Darvis this time. Rebounded, pushing up the court. Look at Joyner in transition to Buster Howard. And that one's laid up and in. And now we're right back in this game. So seven minutes left here in the first half. Mid-range jump shot, and it is good. And that is Schroeder, Jackson Schroeder, for his eighth point of the game. Here's Jay Darvis at the top, passing it around to Frank Reed, who misses that one. Rebound, put back in. And that is going to be another bucket inside for UC Riverside. As now it's down up to a seven point lead. But here is Delmatrice Bamaye in the game and he gets a dunk. And that one gives us a five point deficit. So here is Reed at the top, passing it inside. This time jump shot missed, but a rebound by Darvis and he goes up with it. And that is another bucket inside. We have had issues with guarding teams that have very skilled big men. You can see here you can, that drive right there by Maurice Jamison, but big men have really dominated us lately. Remember last episode, we really, really got dominated on the inside by Max Watkins and company. And now here's Darvis getting, getting busy in the first half. Eight points for him. And it's a 22 to 13 lead for UC Riverside. So here is Caesar now. He's got Darvis on him one-on-one. -on -one. This is kind of the matchup we want. We get the pick and roll, go into the hoop, and it is going to be laid up and in by Caesar. He's got six points here in the first half. So now down by seven, 30 seconds left. We have an open shot here by Joyner, and it's good. Four-point game here as the first half does wind down. We do get possession back one more time, so we're going to hold for the last shot. Here's Bass Helcott in the post. He does shoot a fadeaway, and that is going to be blocked. With Darvis on the bench, we do take advantage there at the end of the first half. 22 to 18, and no real you know, things to point out for our offense in the first half. Nobody really went off or anything, but our defense has to straighten up on the inside. So now we start the second half, and honestly, we need to just play some defense. Maybe get some transition offense going. Maybe that will get us going. 
as Darvis does lead the way for UC Riverside as here we are for our first offensive possession here working around to Joiner. Joiner back out to Storm. Storm shoots and it is good. Knocked down by Zion Storm. One point game now as we're right back in this game. Here's Zion on the next possession. Passing around Takashi. Takashi gets ripped but look who's open in the corner. It's Joiner and he knocks it down and Long Beach State takes the lead here in the second half. So rebounded by Wendell Caesar on the next possession after a missed shot, pushing it up the court. And he's got a man open again. It's Joyner for three, and he knocks it down. His second three in a row. So Joyner, remember, joined the starting lineup after this first game, and here's another pass inside. It's Storm this time, and he lays it up and in. Nice little uh, give and go on that one. So here, 29-25. Let's see if Riverside can get going on offense. Nice steal, though. And here is Storm pushing it up the court. He's going to wait. He's going to pass. He sees Caesar coming up the court. He stops and shoots. It's good. The three-point ball is on here in the second half. Is now another steal. Wendell Caesar after the Zion deflection. Passing inside. And that is laid up and in. Storm in transition. Now it's a nine-point lead in our favor. So now working it around to the corner, here is J.D. Joyner and another three by him. He's got three in this game. So now it's a 10-point lead as now we are playing some defense here, ripping the ball away from Maurice Jamison and looking in transition, Storm, or that's Joyner all the way to the bucket. And now a 12-point lead. More transition defense, rebounded. Wendell Caesar pushing it up the court. Joyner has been hot. Let's see if we get it to him, and we do. He's in the corner, open, and another three by J.D. Joyner. He is absolutely on fire. He's got 15. So now here is Caesar getting the ball in the post. Now 11-point game, a little hook shot, and it's good. 13-point lead now. You see the offense has started, started to wake up. And here we are getting on the board here in the second half. And you can just see here is Caesar at the top. He steps back. He shoots a three, gives himself the space. That's something that only Wendell Caesar can do. He creates his own shot. And now we have a good lead here with under a minute left. Our first, I think, double-digit lead we've had when we played the entire game and had it in the second half. Here is Joyner at the free throw line. I think that, you know, Late in the game, I'm going to get Joyner these free throws. It's way easier to shoot free throws with him as he knocks down both, making it a 16-point lead. And here is UC Riverside, and they will shoot and score that one. But a 14-point victory. This is probably the best victory we've had here as we played the entire game. And honestly, if we would have hit these shots in the first half like we did in the second half, it would have been an even bigger blowout, to be honest. And wow, what a game by Joyner. He just caught fire and we just went to him the rest of the way. And he showed that even in transition, he can get some buckets as well. We might need to explore that a little further as Hellcott and Takashi, neither of them scored points. But how about the backcourt? Caesar, Joyner, and Storm pretty much score all of the points. Uh, Joyner goes for 20 plus. He went six of 11 from three. Caesar went two of four and Zane Storm went two of three. That was a very good three-point shooting game for us. Darvis on their end led them with 13 points, eight rebounds. Schroeder had 12 points, five rebounds, three assists. And then Jamison only had six points. So now we move into more conference games. I'm thinking that, you know, I will have one or two more conference episodes after this one and then there will be the conference tournament which i'm excited about so maybe i'm even thinking about having just one more episode going through these conference games i want to get a good glimpse of all of them i want to know their strengths and i want to kind of create a storyline throughout these four years as we try to play cal state fullerton here remember they were second in our uh conference here but they just absolutely destroy us and we will play them in a full game next time but i wanted to get through this one uh, just doing the uh, game cast and we end up getting blown out by them 
Now, Pacific has some pretty good players. Trevor Miner is one of the best post players in the conference. He's averaging 10 and 10. And they have some other guys here, like Jordan Reed is pretty good. Danny Hernandez is pretty good. Uh, and a lot of you guys are on this team as well. That's the, that's the kind of goal here in this series. So now we play against Pacific. We are at home. And let's see if Long Beach State can make this a bounce back victory here as this one's a close one in the second half. 63 to 60 as I think we're going to hop right into this game. So now it's a tie ball game. Let's see if our offense can get going here and close out this game. And I've found something new with J.D. Joyner. He is a really good scorer as here he is at the top getting the ball, setting up the offense, passing around to Caesar who tries to get his man off the ground. In the motion offense, I put in a couple of plays to add to this offense. Here's a corner mid-range jump shot, and it's good. J.D. Joyner had zero points up to that point. That is his first two points of the game. So deep three missed by Pacific. Rebound and put up. And that is, like I said, that's been our Achilles heel this season i think defensive rebounding because the teams versus us get tons of offensive rebounds so here's a shot from the elbow missed another offensive board and put up and in you've got to be kidding me that one actually rolled on the ground how do we not grab that one so the more more motion offense working around caesar creates space with the jab step and the corner three 68 to 67 nice shot by caesar so he is our leading scorer coming into this game here, averaging about 14 points, and that one is knocked down from the elbow once again, 71 to 68. So in transition, this is a miss rebound by Takashi. Well, let's see what Wendell Caesar can do running the offense. Here he gets to the free throw line, passing inside to Hellcott. Hellcott posting up in the baby hook. That one is good. We're about three feet away. So Pacific now with a one-point lead here. Six minutes left. Jump shot again. That shot kills us. The CPU is so good at that. They just work it inside and just have a clean look at the basket. It's now it's a three-point game, but Caesar gets us right back in there with an open three. And now it's a tie ball game. So off of the rebound this time. Another one and another second chance opportunity for Pacific. It's now a two-point game. So four minutes left. Here is Joyner at the top, setting up the offense. And look at that screen. Wide open three. Joyner knocks it down. 78, 77 here. Three and a half to go. So working it around is Pacific. And another jump shot. That is the favorite play for these offenses here. They know they can attack us right where uh, that shot is taken every single time. That little mid-range to close-range jump shot right in the elbow, at, right at, like outside the paint. It's just a perfect setup. Our defense is just not set up to stop that. So here's Storm at the line, one and one. Actually, that's not a one and one. That's actually two free throws after the shooting foul. Hits one of them. So there's that jump shot once again. Pacific just hits it. I mean, they have not missed that shot pretty much at all. And now it's a two-point deficit. Here they are in this 3-2 zone and working it around. Jump shot. Storm knocks it through. 82 to 81. They were in the 2-3 that time. They switched up in this game, 3-2 to 2-3. It was very good strategically. And now it's a one-point lead here for Long Beach, but another opportunity inside. And that one should have been a foul maybe. Is now Pacific has the one-point lead. Here is Joyner getting double team, passing back out to Caesar, who knocks it down. It's now a two-point lead in our favor. 30 seconds to go. Pacific now, a fadeaway jump shot. Wow, why did they take that one? As they look to foul us now with a two-point lead, and we give it to Caesar, who gets fouled by JoJo Johnson. He goes to the line shooting. 87% from the free throw line. One and one, and he will knock down the first free throw. And now the second attempt will be good. It's now a four-point lead. So Pacific now with 14 seconds left. Let's see if our defense can come through with a stop. Working it around is Pacific. And a guy on the corner. Open three. And it's good. It's now a one-point game. 4.8 seconds to go. We inbounded to Storm. Jordan Reed has fouled out now. 
And Storm is one for two from the line. 25 points in this one. The one and one in the first shot is good. Second attempt, Storm knocks it through. It's now a three-point game. They call the timeout, and now they need to push the ball up the court. They do, and they pass it way up court. It's just a two-pointer, and they hit it, but they needed a three, and that is going to be the game. Wow, what a second half there. Storm finishes with 27 points. Caesar hit some really big shots there at the end of that game as well. And that's the type of back and forth game that I'm expecting here in the conference. There's not a big difference between a lot of teams in the conference, but Pacific and uh, UC Santa Barbara are the two top two teams in the conference. And we're really chasing them. And they have, they have some pretty good recruiting classes coming up as well. So that's going to be interesting. And I'm going to get you guys involved in the series by getting you on those squads as well as my squad when we have openings. Now, Caesar went for 26. Zion went for 27. That was a very good game from them. Joyner had 10 points there, 11 assists. Trevor Miner had 29 and 11 just insane. JoJo Johnson at 21, 7 and 7. What a great game by these guys. Jordan Reed, 16, 4 and 10. So we are winding down conference play before hopping into the conference tournament. And this is this has been entertaining. I, I, I can't lie. This has been a really fun season so far. And I'm excited for this conference tourney coming up. And honestly, we are not doing the greatest to be able to just get into the tournament outright. Obviously, we're in a mid-major conference. But if we win our conference tournament, we get that automatic bid. So that's what we're shooting for. So we will probably wrap up conference play. If not, if we had like a really good game coming up next episode, I will show that one and maybe show two episodes before the end of the season. But I want to wrap it up in the next episode. So we will see there. So hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left. Spent the rest.